Christmas Tangled Hearts, by Reuben White. In the heart of the bustling city, where the icy wind whispered tales of forgotten dreams and the snowflakes danced like memories, there lived two women who, on the surface, seemed worlds apart. Clara, a talented pianist, dwelled in a cozy apartment adorned with sheet music and the echoes of melodies from her piano. Beatrice, an elegant art curator, resided in a lavish townhouse filled with the beauty of masterpieces from around the world. Yet, for all their differences, the two women had been the closest of friends for many years. Every Christmas, they would come together, bonding over their shared love for music, art, and the enchantment of the holiday season. These cherished gatherings became the threads that wove the tapestry of their friendship. Clara, with her ebony hair and introspective eyes, had a heart that was a symphony of emotions. Her internal conflict, like an intricate piano composition, played on repeat, weaving notes of self-doubt, fear, and the shadows of a melancholic past. Her music had become both her solace and her prison, guarding her heart from the pain she couldn't bear to confront. Beatrice, on the other hand, was the external conflict, a graceful mask concealing the truth a truth she desperately wished to forget. She had immersed herself in art, using it as a shield to distract her from the haunting memories that lurked in the corners of her mind. Her life was an endless gallery of distractions, a masterpiece of diversion. As another Christmas approached, an unexpected invitation arrived in the form of an elegantly designed card. It was an invitation to a grand charity gala that would showcase Clara's musical talents and feature Beatrice's prized art collection. Clara hesitated, torn between her desire to share her music with the world and the fear that clawed at her heart. Beatrice saw the gala as an opportunity to maintain her carefully constructed facade and guard her secrets. The weeks leading up to the gala were filled with anticipation and apprehension. Clara practiced her pieces with fervor, her fingers gliding over the piano keys like whispers of hope. Beatrice meticulously curated her collection, ensuring that each piece was displayed with perfection, each brushstroke aligned. Outside, the city transformed into a winter wonderland. The streets were adorned with twinkling lights, and the shop windows displayed festive scenes. The metaphorical snowstorm outside mirrored the tempestuous emotions within the two friends. Their shared history, once a source of solace, now felt like a heavy burden. On the night of the gala, the grand ballroom was bathed in soft, golden light. Clara wore a resplendent emerald gown that accentuated her grace, while Beatrice exuded an air of sophistication in her midnight blue attire. The room buzzed with the chatter of the city's elite, and the anticipation was palpable. Clara took her place at the grand piano, her heart pounding like the rhythm of a forgotten melody. As her fingers caressed the keys, the first notes flowed from her soul. The music, an intricate composition of emotions, filled the room. It was as if each note was a confession, a glimpse into Clara's heart. Beatrice watched in awe as Clara played. For the first time, she truly heard the music, and it resonated with her on a profound level. As the last note faded, the audience erupted in applause, and Clara took a bow, her eyes locking with Beatrice's. After the performance, amidst the applause and accolades, the two women found a quiet corner to talk. Clara's heart trembled, and Beatrice's facade began to crack. The room seemed to fade away as they bared their souls, sharing their fears and regrets. In that vulnerable moment, the past rushed back, like a torrent of memories. They recalled the Christmases they had spent together, the laughter, and the tears. As the truth of their tangled hearts emerged, Clara and Beatrice embraced, tears of forgiveness and understanding glistening in their eyes. The gala continued, but it was no longer about maintaining facades. It was about celebrating their newfound sisterhood, the love and connection they had discovered in each other. The rest of the evening passed in a whirlwind of laughter, music, and shared memories. As the clock struck midnight, signaling the end of the gala, Clara and Beatrice stepped out into the winter night, the snowflakes falling gently around them. Their hearts, once entangled in the past, were now free to embrace the future. The magic of Christmas had woven a new melody into their lives, a melody of love, forgiveness, and the beauty of finding harmony in unexpected places. And so, in the heart of the city, 
where dreams were whispered and memories were made. Two women, once the best of friends, now embrace the title of sisters, their hearts entwined like the most beautiful symphony of all life itself. With the gala as the backdrop, their worlds would collide, and the metaphorical snowstorm outside mirrored the tempestuous emotions within. Tensions would rise as secrets threatened to unravel, and Clara's music held the key to unlocking the truth. Each note she played was a step closer to confronting the past, a step closer to mending their tangled hearts. Amid the twinkling Christmas lights and the enchanting melodies of Clara's piano, the two friends turned sisters would discover the power of forgiveness, the healing magic of the holiday season, and the symphony of love that had been hidden in their hearts all along. Christmas Tangled Hearts is a story of reconciliation, redemption, and the beauty of finding harmony in unexpected places.